Okay, let's go. Okay, hi everyone. So uh today our today the Q and A section is a platter dessert. So at now uh let me for a second. <clears throat> so now we can start from the apple strudel, apple strudel, apple tartin. Crab Suzette. Okay, so you, if you guys have any question, you can ask for these three first, then we go to another. Okay. Have any question for these three now? Apple Scrooge, Apple Tatan, and Crab Suzette. Okay, for the first, this is a uh, first apple strudel. Apple strudel is a uh, very traditional of uh, Australia dessert. So in a classic way, traditional way, normally they are doing is like that. They're making for the dough. After making the dough, after their dough relax, they'll put inside a vegetable oil and let it overnight. Of course, if you don't want it overnight, you can let it uh, for at least four to six hours to let the dough rest. So after when you form up the dough, they have more easy, more elastic, more elastic, and you can extend more. It's actually a little bit the tech, uh, a little bit like uh the what you call chop. Uh, in Malaysia we call roti canai, like prata. Actually, the apple dough is uh, similar like prata. Okay, so this is a very traditional. The traditional way they actually get soup with the oil with overnight. Of course, you can put inside the chiller, let the dough extend more. Okay. So maybe later, but could you expand the basic? Okay. Of a platter dessert, for example, a small and big decoration to be put first, then chef. Okay. Yes, I can expand that for that. Okay, the foundation, okay, can. So have any question for next? So later I will expand the. So Apple Sula have any question guys? Okay, so first this is a uh, Apple Sula. If no question, I just explain a very basic one here. For Apple Sula is very common in Australia. Okay, of course, uh, in this dough, they need to soak with the overnight. After that, they need to cook for the apple filling. After cook with the apple filling, they cook with the apple filling, soak with the raisin. So if you guys want, maybe you can uh, put more flavor inside. You can use it for the rum raisin. Your raisin, soak with the rum if you, if you want. Okay, after that, then you can put inside and bake. So in now, um, in hotel, they have a more modern style. They're not using an apple dough. They're using a special, they're using another item, uh, more easy way. They call below pastry. I give you guys see in here. So you can see, uh, in hotel, we always be using for this, right? Okay. So we're using this one filo pastry. This filo pastry is like a, a little bit like a dumpling skin. So we'll do like that. Put a thin layer of the filo pastry so we can wrap it around like uh, at least 20, 20, 20, 20 of the filo pastry. So each layer, we'll brush with the butter and put off the sugar, okay? The sugar. So when you're baking, the sugar in the between, they will caramelize, they get more crispy. So it's depend on you. This is more modern way. This is more modern way for the apple sugar. Of course, you can change for the 
Of course, you can change for the filling, but this is a very traditional for the apple strudel because very simple in Australia there, they have a season of the, a lot of apple come out. So that's why they need to spend this apple in the filling, do a lot of the thing product in the apple way. So they can sell, uh, they can more easy to finish all this apple. Okay, if no, this no question already, you can go to the next. Uh, by the way, uh, for the apple strudel, actually you guys can serve it. Some person, they call it hot dessert. Of course, if you serve in room temperature, don't have a big problem for that. Okay, you can be hot dessert or cold dessert also can. So if you want more nicer, serve with the ice cream. You're more suitable. Uh, it's not for pure skin. Okay, it's not for pure skin. Okay, it's not same. Bitter pastry is uh, a little bit like a pub, not like pub pastry. If like a little bit like uh, in in Malaysia way, we call it like a uh, wonton skin one ton skin it's like a dumpling skin okay but after you baking there are more crispy texture okay a little bit like gelatin texture after more more flaky the texture come out okay so in the next okay so apple tartine okay apple tartine you can do a lot of the way okay a traditional way of course they can be a better dessert of course for the apple tartine it also can be a fan pastry okay for fan pastry so we can use this on a uh, fan pastry also okay with combination so a uh, classic way normally they serve with the cream chantilly but if you want more taste nicer serve with the ice cream will be will be the best okay so traditional of the apple tart tartine we use it a uh, puff pastry original way they cook their apple after they make their apple Okay, we are uh, put with the caramel sugar, everything. Then they put a puff pastry on the top and bake together. But for this, we find out a problem. The puff pastry is difficult to uh, cook evenly. So that's why we bake separately. After that, then we join together. The taste will be more nicer. Okay, some person, they don't like the apple tatam because it's too sweet. But if you want, you can caramel your sugar more bitter. So you can reduce some sweetness. Okay, on here. So no question for this, apple tatan. Okay, so next, crab suzette on here. So crab suzette, actually suzette in here uh, actually is a lady's name. Okay, and uh, this is uh, something like a love story on here. So this is a chef that making the wife name called suzette. Okay, he loved this lady. So the, the ladies always like eating this combination with the crab orange salmon, okay, and with the fumble. So that's why he created this dessert with the, his wife's name called Crab Suzette. So in apple tartan, wouldn't, wouldn't the caramel taste sweet? Can we replace with another type with the filling except the caramel? Uh, if apple tartan, uh, for this, it's a little bit, i give you an example. i give you an example. So for this apple tartan, uh, that's a combination. We can uh something we cannot be changing. It's very traditional way. Okay, like black forest. Black forest, as you guys know, what is a black forest combination? For me, a black forest combination, you need for the chocolate sponge, whipping cream, chocolate shaving, cherry, and kush. It's an alcohol. This five combination is black forest. It's some like a tiramisu. What is tiramisu? Mascarpone cream, lady finger, cocoa powder, dust on the top, and an espresso soap with the lady finger. This is a combination, is we call it tiramisu. The name actually is already combined this all these items inside. So if you want to change this feeling, is we cannot uh we cannot call this name already. Same like prata. If I change the prata, go to berry, is we cannot call it a same item already. You can call another name. Okay, so some of the traditional way, very simple. Uh, most all the thing, right? Most all the thing we is uh using a uh, how even how even now is a uh, modern modern style. You see in the Instagram, you see a lot of the fan pastry. They are changing a modern style. But if you see back, actually their combination is very traditional. They're just making the outlook look like more modern way, more modern way. But the flavor you can see, example like crab suzette. 
a crab suzette must be have orange segment, a crab with the orange sauce, and you need an alcohol to firm blade. What is firm blade? This game you get the alcohol, warm up until a certain level, until a boiling point. Then you put some fire on that to let him firm blade. So you don't worry about the firm blade. They will uh, the taste very strong alcohol. The alcohol just enhance the taste. Let him re uh, reduce the bitter taste. Reduce uh, to reduce the sweetness taste on here. Okay, this combination crab to that must have orange flavor, crab and from blend. This we call it crab to that. Okay, so if you change for the flavor, it's up to you guys, but you cannot call this name. You can change another name, it's up to you. You want to change any name on here. Okay, because this is a traditional way, so like same like opera. So we go to the next. Uh, Hold on a second. Replace another filling except the caramel. So, hi chef, can we make a crab cake with this recipe? Yes, you can make a crab cake with this recipe. Okay, you can make a crab cake in this recipe, and filling is up to you. And why do we don't? If what do we don't want too sweet caramel and too bitter caramel taste? Then, if you don't want the too sweet caramel and a bitter caramel taste, hmm. Um, it's up to you. You can change any acid, acid item inside. Okay. So, what is a peach melba combination? Peach melba, of course, first, uh, raspberry, red fruit. Red fruit, after that, peach. For the peach flavor on that. So, normally, the combination for the peach melba is a raspberry coolies or raspberry sauce. And you can posh peach. Okay. Posh peach. You can see most of the Europe star or the uh, Western star, they are making their, all the fruit right because they have a winter time. So winter time is very difficult to get the fruit on that. So most of the fruit, they were doing a poaching. So posh with the sugar syrup. So at least in two to three months, if they want to eat some fruit that has a processed fruit in the sugar syrup rate. So that's why they're always doing like that. And winter time, they need a lot of the sugar. But if you go to the Asian style, uh, our here always is summer. So we don't need so much of the sugar on that. So of course, you can change with another flavor. Okay. So for a crab to that, some person you're asking, uh, this, this can be doing for the crab cake. Yes, you can change this for the crab cake. No problem. Okay. You can change for the, change for the, with the, Chantilly or whipping ganache or the mousse type, you can put inside the whipping ganache. That one is up to you guys. Okay. So, have any question for crab Suzette? So, if no question on here, okay, we go to the next for the chocolate fondant, cream boulet, and cream caramel on here. Okay, we go to the chocolate fondant. Some person also you call it chocolate. It's the same thing on here. We go to chocolate, cream boule, and cream caramel. Okay, what is control on here? Control is alcohol, but with the orange flavor. Okay, actually, it's a brand name. The brand name in here, the alcohol. This, do you guys see in here? Okay, in uh, Google here, control is an alcohol type, but with the orange feeling. But normally, this is a brand name. It's a brand name. So it's very uh, suitable for the flavor with the orange flavor. So when I'm using a control with the alcohol, right? Uh, guys, you guys don't think the alcohol you're using in the... You guys don't think you're using in the alcohol in the pastry. We need to like get drunk or anything. Actually, you just enhance the flavor and reduce the sweetness. Because some of the person, they don't like too sweet the pro. They don't like the product too sweet. So if you try, you put the alcohol inside, it's totally it's balanced back for the sweetness on that also. Okay. Also, you don't need to uh, spend. You also have a nice flavor on that one. Okay. Normally, we use of the alcohol is 
in like something like sponge, this kind of thing, or you're feeling like cremo, okay? This kind of thing. But always when you want to put alcohol in the product, make sure your product is like room temperature, room temperature, or a little bit warm, like 40 Celsius is no problem. Do it in a very hot temperature, like boiling, you put the alcohol inside, actually you cannot taste anything. And alcohol you put inside the percentage is very, very low on it, okay? So, hi chef, we're making a, a chocolate fondant, six or eight in, inch, how long we should bake it, the cake? Okay. Uh, I think you're making for the 6 cm to 8 cm, right? For the chocolate fondant. Okay, it's not possible inch. Huh? Your other one is using by inch is is how it's quite big for that. Okay. Can we bake the chocolate fondant and cream caramel boule in microwave? Uh, for this no. Okay, first I explain for the chocolate fondant first. Okay, some people chocolate lava. Do you guys know <clears throat> how they make how the history for this chocolate fondant? Actually, for this history for chocolate fondant, uh, it's a few cake. The, same, uh, the product is few product. It's a few product. Why we call it few product, right? Because this is uncooked cake. Okay, they have contact a lot of the sugar and the product is uncooked. If you guys want a chocolate lava or chocolate fondant, um, bake it, bake it well. I draw a picture for you. How, how you guys check your chocolate fondant and chocolate lava. So first, when you're baking, the, when you're baking uh, any chocolate, fondant or chocolate lava on here. So you can see it here. The mixture on here, when you're baking, always when we bake this, we need to use a very high temperature to baking. So if you're using a very high temperature to baking this one, what is the meaning high temperature? 190 to 100, uh, 210. When you're baking this, they will start the outside here use high temperature, they start to form a skin. The protein inside here will be corrugated, but the center part on here is uncooked. It's uncooked. So that is a chocolate rawa create, okay? So normally if you guys want to depend on how, uh, how you guys want to check in, right? For me, like just now I have person asking like 6 cm to 8 cm, how long I need to baking. If you use 190, so if you guys want using this one, uh, I think it's take around like eight to 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes, but it's depend your hour. It's quite difficult for me. I just the answer for that because every hour is not the stronger. I don't know. Okay. I cannot promise you that hour always make the same because you use a different brand of hour. Okay. The come up is product also different. So normally I will check like this way. You can using one for testing first. You can use 190 to bake this or 200 to bake this bake in like five to six minutes if you feel the skin okay the surface and the side they form a skin they form a sponge skin that's it okay you can stop it okay after that just when you guys are more a chocolate lava or chocolate fondant right make sure the product is totally cool down the product is totally cool down before you guys are more it because if you are more in very hot warm area uh, warm temperature the liquid they will leaking out the liquid will leaking out because you need a fat a little bit setting inside it's all is chocolate all is chocolate chocolate is a fat content so you let the fat content a little bit setting so you are more so 100 you won't be feel on this product okay so this is a very simple product you, if you guys normally yeah, you guys see in the market uh, not in the market in instagram always you see some leaking item uh, like baking leaking item actually this is we call it uncooked cake everything is uncooked cake so the feeling is high percentage of the fat the fat percent very high percent and after that you just bake a crush on outside like burnt cheesecake this kind of a fondant cake okay inside actually high content of the fat and uncooked the thing in on the center that's it the thing the product will become out okay okay can and one thing why chocolate lava, why chocolate fondant we cannot uh, using by uh, wait up too longer time. Okay, I draw uh, one more picture for you guys. Some person, right, you have a pro, you have a problem when you're picking a chocolate lava. When it come out, few reasons. Okay, first reason, when you cut the chocolate lava, he won't be leaking. If you won't be leaking, you need to think, is this you overcook? 
that is a problem. The first problem, overcook very simple, you can be understand. Second reason, the thing come up is won't be leaking because your this chocolate fondant, you incorporate, uh, you incorporate too much of the air content inside. So this is a picture for you guys. If you see it here, remember I told you guys, this is an uncooked item. So if now we do this chocolate lava, actually we just need everything mixed well together. Just mix well, don't incorporate any air inside. If now you, our sponge incorporate the air inside, what will happen? Inside have content a lot of air, correct? There was small bubble in here. All, all this small bubble in here. Okay, so when you baking, when you baking the temperature, so this temperature is because inside contact a lot for air, so this temperature very easy to reach on the center part. Okay, so this cake will fully cooking, will be fully cooking. So if now imagine if now your this chocolate lava, okay, your this chocolate fondant is don't have content, just mix with everything. So inside. The molecular is like this. It's very solid, a very small solid inside. No air content inside. So when you baking, the temperature, the heat, it's more difficult to reach on the center part. It just can reach on the side. This is that's why why a chocolate fondant, why burnt cheesecake. Okay, all this of the technique. If you want licking the feeling come out, actually they no need uh incorporate a lot for air inside. If you incorporate a lot for air inside, that will become spongy, uh, spongy texture. To become spongy texture, okay. So, uh, next, uh, for this product, I not very recommend you guys using microwave. Very simple because microwave the microwave technique is not same like baking oven. Oven when you baking the oven right, okay. When you baking, sorry, uh, I draw. I draw a picture for you. What the different microwave and oven. Okay. One second. Okay. So if this is a product, okay, you guys using by oven, and this is a product you guys using by microwave. Okay. Out if you're using by oven, the temperature is like that. From outside, go to inside. Okay, they will take some time reach to the center part. Okay, so like that. So you need to depend what product you guys are using. Like example, I want my center product is uh uncooked, so just use a high temperature. If you want chocolate lava, if fully cooked, use a medium temperature like 150, 160, then the center will be cooked. Okay, simple. I want uh I want I want panic. Okay. One second. So if you're now using in the microwave, microwave technique is not same. Microwave technique is from a center. Okay. From center going slowly going to outside. Microwave technique is actually is uh in the water, water and the molecular, both that create the friction. That when they kick create the friction, so they have create a lot of the heat come out. The heat is slowly from a center going to outside. This is microwave. Okay. If now you're using cream bullet or cream caramel, you put inside the microwave that have a problem or inside the center will be fully and if fully cooked so you cannot get a texture like that okay you cannot get a creamy texture and you cannot get a like mm, you cannot get a very uh un uncooked texture in the filling because they're from the center going to outside if you're using microwave okay this uh, both is not same texture okay so let's go back so any chocolate lava you guys have any question on here so of course you guys can change for the any feeling on here. Okay. Of, of course, if you want uh some of the product, like some of the company, they need to do something fake. Okay. They will use they will cook the chocolate fondant. After that, they only put the pipe the filling on the center. Of course, you can do like that, but uh that is there's like a little bit, we call it cheating. Cheating. After the thing is fully cooked, you just pipe the item on the center of course you can do it like that no problem if you have a like uh, emergency or a lot of pet
for a second. Uh, let me check. Uh. Um, raw making size should be used. Okay, the raw making size volume. <clears throat> you mean for the cream boule and the cream caramel for the the raw making size? Uh, for this size, <coughs> depend on you guys. In our school, we are using for the cream for the cream caramel size. I just type inside on here. Easy for you to understand. Cream caramel. Okay. Uh, for the length is around six cm. For the white. Is XCM. Okay. Cream boule, we are using for the something like a ceramic. The, we call it a soup plate. We call it soup plate. So the soup plate size soup plate size for the length is around 12 cm. Okay, and for it white is around 8 cm. Okay, this is the answer for you. Okay, so chocolate fondant done. Okay, then we go to the next, okay. A very simple of the chocolate fondant. Uh, uh, in last night, I, when I'm in here, i working in the Hilton Hotel. So we actually, we have a lot of packs. We every day need to do this chocolate fondant. So how we figuring out uh, one, one of the Western set, I need to serve around like 1,000, at least 1,000 packs of the chocolate fondant. So normally we mix all the mixture, then we will put in the, the aluminum foil. The aluminum foil will spray the oil, okay? Like an aluminum cup. Like that. Aluminium cup. Aluminium picking cup. Okay, something like that. Okay, I uh, we use this one, the aluminium foil, the aluminium foil cup, like that. Okay. So this one, after that, all this, we spray oil. After we spray oil, we just put the mixture inside. Then this one, we can keep inside the freezer. We can keep for one month. So when we have a function, so we can arrange on the baking tray. Then we can use the oven to bake it. After that, they all transfer to the warmer. So in the last minute, when we want to serving this one, we'll just make it upside down, among it, then serve like that. Okay. Of course, the ice cream, we need to de after we're doing a canal, okay? After we're doing it for the canal, the ship on here, do you see this ship? Okay, this ship a little bit like, uh, we call it like a durian ship. It's like a little bit like over ship, uh, over ship on here, right? This is, we call it canal because in last time in the restaurant, okay, the chef, they're very difficult to get the ice cream scoop, to scoop the ice cream, the ice cream scoop always missing. So they're always the pocket, they have some spoon, they just use a spoon with the hot water, just make like this shape, we call it canal, okay, on here. So cream boule, what the difference of a cream boule, uh, cream boule and a cream caramel? Cream boule, the texture have more content egg yolk. So more fat content inside. So when you're eating this cream boule, it's more creamy texture. Okay, the texture is more creamy texture on here. So for a, a different of the cream caramel, they're using a lot of the uh, uh whole they actually they're using whole egg. Whole egg contain a lot of water and protein. So the texture come out is a little bit like more like wooding, the wooding texture on here. So this is a different of the cream caramel and um uh, uh cream, cream boule and the uh, cream caramel texture. Okay. So any question on here? These three. If no, we can go to a nougat glass. Okay. If you guys see something, 
glass. Sometimes you guys will asking the question, what's the meaning on glass? Okay, glass in the meaning is called ice in uh, direct, direct translate in the French, okay? We call it ice, okay? Frozen ice, that's mean. So glass in... Uh, Okay, so now we can go with this Noga glass, Barry Walina glass, okay, and uh, Walina Panakota. These three items. Okay, glass, if you go to the Google Translate, actually it's meaning frozen on here. Google Translate. Okay, you guys can check on here. In a transition plus in the in go to English is meaning ice on here. So you can call it ice cream. Hi chef, if I want to do work on a taking order, what will be a process of serving temperature? <coughs> okay. So uh, a good question. That one later I an I answer you because later I will explain a very basic of the. <coughs> Very basic, how you guys serving for the, how you guys serving the uh, platter dessert, okay? The platter dessert, how you guys storage the platter dessert, everything on here, data I explained for you guys. Huh? So have any question about that free product? If no, I will just, just go through. One second. Platter dessert. Data using this, okay. Okay, so this glass, this flavor glass meaning ice, okay. In uh in platter dessert here, we actually have consistent, we have a uh, frozen dessert, hot dessert, and a uh, chill dessert, okay. Frozen dessert, it can be ice cream, cream glass. Okay, what is cream glass? Cream glass is meaning in ice. Okay, first you guys wanna know ice cream is what? Ice cream actually is a uh, walina, uh, we call it uh, walina sauce, okay? Cream on glaze, cream, cream on glaze base. All the, all the ice cream actually is come from a walina sauce, cream on glaze, okay? Cream on glaze, okay? So if you guys see on here, they have two items. One is called cream on glaze. Cream on glaze, that's mean English cream. English cream actually you have content, content 8%, 8% egg yolk, we can call it ice cream. If now minimum have less than minimum 4% of the egg yolk, we call it cream glass. Okay. The texture, if uh the texture, if you compare right, this will be more lighter texture. Okay, we call it French type ice cream. Okay, but if you go to English ice cream, okay, that's mean uh English cream ice cream, this type of type. Sorry, minimum you need seven percent egg yolk. Okay, actually it's around eight eight percent. Okay, so if you feel the egg yolk content is more creamy, ice cream and more smooth inside your mouth melting. Okay, of course this is we call glass family. Glass family we call it frozen dessert. Okay, frozen dessert in English. Okay, gelato. Okay, gelato is uh from Italy, but they contain milk. They instant milk to the, the instant milk to uh, cream. Actually, if you go to ice cream, they use a lot of whipping cream, okay? A cream texture. But if you go to gelato, they use more is a milk, okay? Then more milk, less less cream, okay? And they, won't, they uh, didn't use any egg yolk content inside, 
Okay, so they're actually they're more when they're churning the ice cream, it's more lesser for churning ice cream on that part. That one I will explain you in the ice cream texture in advanced class because I just I roughly explain this one for you guys. Because if you guys want to know this one, the ice cream, the another like churn system, anything right that uh that I expect in the advanced ice cream because I need to tell you guys a percentage right here. Okay, we go to a platter dessert first, but normally platter dessert we will go to a tier. Okay, so gelato, English based. This we call egg based ice cream. We call it English cream. Okay, cream glass minimum four percent of the egg yolk. So sorbet at here. Okay, this chart, this chart I will send you guys in advanced ice cream. Okay, I will send you guys at here. I will send you guys in the another chart for this chart. Okay, in the PowerPoint I will ask the I will ask my admin to send uh, send on your group. For you guys for this better dessert okay this is a uh, different okay so sobe what the different sobe sobe okay normally is just three main ingredient food fruit sugar and water of course you can contain some alcohol inside okay but sobe they didn't contain any dairy product there no any fat content inside sobe so actually it's very uh straightforward so he have Another type they call sherbet. Sherbet and sorbet is totally different item. Sorbet is don't have any content dairy. Sherbet have content milk inside. They have content one to two percent of the fat content inside. Okay, so it's more richer, uh, more richer and creamy texture. Okay, they have content a little bit fat content inside. So you can see sometimes they make some chocolate sorbet or yogurt sorbet. Okay, more refreshing. Okay, but without egg yolk. And they use a very, very less of the fat content okay inside this is normally a uh we call it frozen dessert type okay but if you guys see on this recipe nougat actually they still have two more just now one we call parfait okay parfait parfait at here okay we call it parfait parfait in french meaning in the english way you guys can go to google type parfait parfait if you translate to the english it's called perfect okay so parfait mean perfect in french okay the process is same like semi fatal but semi parfait only contain two of the item okay parfait is normally is sabayon plus whipping cream these two combinations sabayon plus whipping cream we call it parfait okay so you guys want to know what is sa sabayon and for patabong. Sabayon that means egg yolk plus sugar way up to ribbon stage that we call sabayon. Okay, no any egg white content. Ah, sorry, it can be egg white content. It can be egg white content. Some of the person they're making sabayon right, they are making for like whole egg or egg yolk plus sugar and way up to ribbon stage. We call it sabayon. So that a uh, different of the version is we call patabong. Patabong is the thing uh, is whole egg or egg yolk, but they use a sugar syrup. The sugar syrup we call it softball stage. Both mixed together, we up to the ribbon stage. Okay, we call it patabong. It's a different version of the Italian meringue. Okay, so you guys can filter this one huh? so this parfait always in uh they come from french okay and now we're going to the italy version italy version we call it semi fedo semi fedo in italy meaning half frozen that's mean semi frozen half frozen okay so this is without churning that actually is like parfait and semi fedo actually a little bit like mousse texture but this without an ice cream machine to doing a churning process, okay? In ice cream, when we want to whip up the ice cream, we not call it whip up or whisk up, okay? We call it churning process, okay? Churning process on here, okay? So this semi fatal, okay? Normally with three combination, we call it semi fatal: meringue, sabayon, okay? And one more whipping cream. Whipping cream, meringue, and sabayon, these three combinations 
Of course, flavor is up to you. You can do any flavor what you want, chocolate, anything, okay? But this is a base combination, meringue, sabayon, and whipping cream. We call it semi fado okay? So if you see in here, this one, the nougat on here, actually, this is a parfait, okay? This is a nougat parfait. Nougat at here, I think everyone know what is nougat. Nougat is a type of a candy, okay? Something like this candy. Okay, this kind of the candy. So this of the candy that contact a lot of the mixed nut. You can go to pistachio, almond, walnut, okay, uh, hazelnut, every flavor and raspberry uh, and raisin and uh, mixed berry inside, the dry item inside. Then they're using a meringue, okay? They're using a meringue to whisk the meringue and mix the nut. After that, become a confectionery, a candy. So this, we are just using uh, the flavor inside this parfait, okay? So next, this belly walina glass. This actually is like semi fado This is parfait. This is semi fado because they have content meringue inside, okay? This is a berry flavor of the semi fado also is consistent, it's like a uh, frozen dessert, okay? Panagota, okay? Panagota on here is very, very easy way, okay? Panagota actually is uh, is most common. They're using a cook, uh, the cream, the cream, boil it, after that, put with the sugar. Panagota combination is cream, sugar, and gelatin. These three items, a setting agent on here. These three item combination, we call it panakota. It's a very simple item. Okay. If you guys want, no need using the whipping cream. You can use a cooking cream. Also, you can do it for the panakota. Actually, if I'm doing this one, I like to use a uh, cooking cream because more lesser fat. Okay. So the texture come out is more like a pudding texture on here. Also, can no problem for that. Okay. But panakota, I will prefer you guys not serve in, not uh, keep inside the freezer. Very simple because. Main of this ingredient for the panna cotta is whipping cream, okay? It's a cream. So if now you put the cream inside to the freezer, the milk solid and the milk fat, they will separate. So always, if you put the panna cotta into the freezer, after the, tomorrow you serve it, you feel the panna cotta, you're sweating out a lot of the liquid because all the milk solid is separate from the milk fat. So all this is a uh, liquid from the, uh, we call it the cream. So actually when you're eating this panna cotta, you won't be feel smooth. They feel like a little bit like uh, a really bit rough. It's not smooth texture anymore. Okay, a little bit like sprit texture. Uh, where you can find a chocolate decoration on the butterfly. Actually, this we're using for dough blah, actually. This company, we call it Dobla company. He do a lot of the chocolate deco on here. You guys can go to Google, search this, okay? This one, this brand, they call it Dobla. So they have a lot of type of the different of the decoration. You can go to the website to check on here. Okay, this is a... Uh, Ita Italy company, it's an Italy company. So he do a lot of the tech, a different of a decoration on here. So actually uh, our chef is working in here. We have one chef, uh, before that he working in the Apka Chef Online. Now he working with this company. Now you can see all this creator of this design is the chef design, okay? So you can see on here, uh, they have a lot of the decoration. It's easy for you. There, uh, now there are a lot of like a Starbucks, Starbucks, they get some chocolate that for all is from this company. Of course, if you guys want, if you guys want, you guys can go to get a chocolate and just print out, just go to, if you want to do your own self, okay? Just like that, go to the Google, type the butterfly outline. Okay, something, something like that. Okay, the butterfly outline. Just print out and put a plastic on the top and use a temper chocolate and follow the lining to pipe. Okay, just follow the lining to pipe and the center just pipe a chocolate. Of course, you can use another different of the color. 
the chocolate color and you can stick together, then you have a chocolate deco. Okay. So in the in the in the future, I have a uh, in the future we have doing a topic is a uh, this kind of the chocolate deco. Okay, I, I was the chef uh, doing now we are in process now in maybe like few months we have this kind of the chocolate deco, all this to let you guys know how they're making like a chocolate deco, this kind of a fancy deco. Okay. So so finish everything I hear. Ah uh, yes. Uh we in that chocolate deco class, in that chocolate deco class, we have using the A, A gun spray. You don't worry. We have using we have a technique on that part because this is more is like a te technique item, it's more to a technique item. So before that, you guys can maybe uh stronger your stronger for your basic. So in future, you guys all the technique at least we can easy for you guys understand. Okay, and in the future, you guys go to uh like if future you guys have go to master class example. Now I told you well word spread. What is well word spread? At least you guys know ah, uh, chef. I understand this is well word spread. It's using a cocoa butter using a spray gun, but they spray on the surface. Then they have a small crystallization on that ah. Uh, so at least you guys will be understand. So uh for us. We're doing a pastry chef, our basic knowledge we need to strong at least like I give you guys sabayon or meringue, easy for you. I think you guys will start to get the exam for you guys. We are doing for the 100 question for you guys doing some exam, the required assessment, something like that. So you guys need to start to practice. If you guys have any question like you are not understand meringue, sabayon, what's that? Okay, don't be shy, just write that on the chat. Okay, some sometimes you guys are a new person, a new uh, subscriber. So you can ask anytime, okay? So let's go. Uh, I think should be no problem for every product now. Should be no pro problem for all this product, okay? So now I go to the, I go to the a little bit theory part. This theory I will send for you guys for this platter dessert. So when we're choosing for the platter dessert, you guys can see something like this, okay? Some of the thing you guys can go back to study, okay? Uh, what is platter dessert? Normally, platter dessert you guys can see. We need to doing some some of the example. You're doing a restaurant, a dessert cafe, or you're doing for the hotel, okay, for the big function, or you're doing for the banquet way. Also can. So first, you guys want to know this plat. You guys serving for a platter dessert. You guys have a uh, like enough equipment or not? Example, if now you guys doing some frozen dessert. So how you guys should be like. Uh, keep this product in the how you guys serving. Yes, any question you can ask, just ask again. Okay, so the flavor combination. Okay, flavor. I think uh, flavor. I told you guys many time already. When you, you can see uh, a man for you guys, a man flavor. You guys want to know this flavor platter dessert. You guys cannot more than three to four flavor okay actually not only for platter dessert uh, for all for your pastry all for your pastry even in culinary in culinary you're doing for the chicken or anything okay actually we don't pay too much of the flavor to confuse the person okay first you want to know this flavor you want to man on which flavor first okay example now i want to man for coffee flavor so all all the thing i will find out the what the flavor is matched to the coffee Why lemon cake powder should be put inside the sheet before bake? Possible later have a demo class. Uh, at here Q and then section we. The demo class normally we will serve on the Saturday. We will serve in the sa Saturday. Okay, we will we will we will do in the Saturday because <clears throat> now in Monday to Friday, uh, I'm sorry, our Malaysia sometimes is locked down. It's difficult to us to go back to company. So actually, I work in home now. I working in home now. Okay, but of course Saturday, I we have I have a demo and then then we will serve it there. Like sometimes some person you ask me about uh 
uh, red velvet cake, all this kind of item. Actually, I already have shooting the thing, like the home baker, we call it home baker item. But the video, uh, we haven't cut yet. Already in process, in process. I already done all these home baker already. So they are in process. Okay, you just uh, waiting. You guys maybe can do some another recipe first. Okay. So I answer for the lemon cake panel first. Okay, why we should put the thing in the chiller before we baking? Okay, of course, uh, you actually for the lemon cake, you can bake directly. No problem. You can bake directly. But uh, if now we're making some travel cake, example like travel cake, okay, we use, uh, we have inside contact a uh, baking powder. Most of the baking powder in the market now we buy or is we call it double action, okay? What is meaning double action? Double action, that's mean when they put inside, uh, when you making the process, when they content with the, uh, when they uh, content with the, uh, con when they, uh, when they touching with the liquid item, when the baking powder content with the uh, the moisture, okay, they create the carbon dioxide in the first time. After inside to the oven, when they have contact, uh, content the heat, they'll create a second type of the carbon dioxide. If like that, right, okay, too much of the carbon dioxide, too much of air inside the lemon cake, sometimes our chef is very difficult to get a nice, uh, nice chef. Uh, surface okay nice product so they are cracking everywhere the product is cracking everywhere so sometimes the chef they like to put inside for the out uh the chiller to let him rest of course if you don't mind of the outlook okay if you don't mind the outlook so you can bake directly but sometimes you see if too strong inside too much the carbon dioxide when you're baking the cracking everywhere they're cracking everywhere. So sometimes we our chef do some travel cake. We like to let the gluten rest it, or we like to let the carbon dioxide, the baking powder, won't be too strong. Of course, not like totally no air inside, like at least it disappeared like 20 to 30 percent of the air. So we bake, we get a nice surface, nice outlook. Okay. Okay, so go back to the flavor for the platter dessert. So this is a man of the flavor, three to four flavor into the platter dessert. Okay, this is very important. This I always told you guys. Okay, so you guys can see of the flavor here. You guys can go back to study a little bit. So see fruit, citrus fruit, lemon, lime, orange, red fruit, yuzu. So uh, maybe you guys can do some homework. You go back, you guys search this citrus fruit. Mm, maybe like family. So you guys can uh, check on here. So you can see on this picture, actually of the citrus fruit, actually of the citrus fruit, they have a lot of the type. They have a lot of the type. So you can see an example uh, like lime. You can go to a kaffir lime, a key lime, okay? Or a Pakistan lime also have. So you guys can see a different of the line. So different of the citrus fruit, they have a different of the flavor. In the citrus fruit, in very important, it's a zest, okay? All this zest, you guys can zest it, keep in frozen, keep in a container. After that, you can keep inside for the freezer. You can keep for one year. You can keep for one year. So you don't waste stage. Like example, I believe everyone eating orange or you use lemon, you guys won't use the zest. But where the flavor come from, all is from a zest. The zest is very powerful of the flavor inside. Okay. But if you use a fresh, uh, if you guys use a fresh zest and a fresh uh, and a frozen zest, okay. I remember this, I told you guys the zest you guys can keep inside to the keep inside for the freezer for one year. So if you use a frozen zest and a fresh zest, if now using a recipe is a fresh zest, like one gram, if you change a frozen zest, you guys need to use a double up. That's mean used by two gram. Okay. So some of the some of the product like ravi fruit, ravi fruit, actually they have selling like a lemon zest in the container. So you can see actually this is what they're selling. Actually, it's a money a cost. Okay, but normally we just very wastage, just throw the zest. All this orange zest or lemon zest, you guys can zest it in a container, keep for the freezer for one month. So, but when you guys want using a frozen zest, you use a double up, okay? Double up of the recipe, that's it, okay? Because juice, juice or lemon juice, right? Okay, all this kind of the juice for the citrus fruit, actually they don't have any 
flavor inside. All the flavor is come from a zest. Okay, you just get a very acidic, a very sour taste from that. And imagine when you're eating the orange, did you eat orange taste inside the salmon? No. Where the orange taste come from is from a zest. Okay. So I want to ask about a freezing fruit puree. Can I ask now? Do you have a recommend strong fruit puree in the freezer? If so, how long can we store it? So some fruit are not in the season always, which is we ask. Okay. Yes, that's why the fruit always is come by the season. Okay. If you want to, if you want to set in citrus fruit, which is the very strong flavor inside, I just recommend you uh in yuzu. Okay. Yuzu is a uh, yuzu, the flavor is very, very nice for me. Uh always be going to competition, we use a lot of yuzu. This yuzu, right? <clears throat> It look like an orange. It look like the orange and lemon between. But this yuzu only in this have two country have this fruit only. One is Japan. One is uh South Korea. Okay, South Korea and Japan only have this this cut of the fruit. So that's why uh the fruit selling you very expensive right here. But in Malaysia, one of this yuzu it can sell you around like thirty ringgit for one. It's very expensive. And one of the this or this yuzu you can sell it 30 ringgit but the zest when you use is very, very different it's very, very nice nice taste and here okay so i will recommend you guys uh when you guys using for the puree on here when you're using a puree try to use more the pure uh try to use more the puree why because puree is more consistency of the flavor i understand sometimes you guys have leftover fruit of course you can use that one but some of the person you ask me, chef, can I go uh buy the strawberry? Uh, can I just buy a one kg of the strawberry puree? Uh, strawberry, one kg of the strawberry, and then make it become a puree. Okay, first, if you buy one kg of the strawberry, actually, it costs you more expensive. You buy the strawberry puree, and you need to blend, you need to strain a lot of things, and the fruit come out also not consistency. Okay, so I prefer you straight away use buy the puree. More easy, more cheaper than you buy a one kg of the fruit. And one kg of the fruit, you come up, I wouldn't think you can get one, one kg of the puree also. Okay, so this is the fruit chart you guys can see. Citrus fruit, exotic, pineapple, banana, coconut, lychee, mango, patient, red fruit, some of the berry fruit, okay. The orchard fruit, okay, apricot, chestnut, peach, pear, apple. Okay, this kind of the flavor on here, okay, is uh is more neutral taste. They don't have very sour, they don't have very sweet taste on there. So it's more neutral taste. So sometimes I give you guys an example. I play another product, maybe I do a confectionery. Sometimes I need some fiber inside, but if I'm using for the orange, orange, no fiber or lemon, no fiber inside, or now. I'm making for the lamb. I want to use it for lemon taste, but you cannot use all the thing in lemon, correct? Because if you everything you use lemon flavor, it's very, very sour. It's very, very sour. So you need some of the fruit to neutral, to neutral the flavor. What the fruit you can use? You cannot use strawberry or raspberry because both also very acidic. So you only can find some neutral fruit. Where is the neutral fruit you can find? Like now I want plain lemon, you can use pear. You can use green apple. So this pear and green apple, the taste is more neutral. So you can combine inside. They won't like uh take over your lemon taste. They won't when you taste it, all its apple taste, they feel a lemon taste inside. Okay. Chocolate, dark, dark milk white. Okay, depend on you guys. Okay. Nuts on here, coffee or tea. Okay. So spice, okay, cinnamon, all this kind of thing. So you guys can go check. Texture on here. Normally, what texture you guys need to serve in your batter dessert? They have a few texture on you. Crispy texture. Okay. Crispy, crunchy texture. This both, you guys can use some uh, nogatin. What is nogatin? <clears throat> Do you see this? Okay. Actually, it's a caramel. Caramel with the mixed nut. The caramel with the mixed nut, we call it nogatin on here. Okay. So actually, uh, in France, they're playing some nogatin display. Okay. Always they serve with the ice cream. So they will do some nogatin like that. Like they'll build a display on here. 
they'll build a display on here. So normally they'll use this nocatin, they're doing some uh, ice cream. They make a bowl, a nocatin bowl, served with ice cream. Okay. They'll make a cup. So yeah. They'll make something like this, like a cup. Do you see this? Like a cup. So inside, they're serving with the ice cream, the frozen dessert inside. Okay, so they give you an extra uh, crunchy inside. So inside here, have a sable, crunchy base. Okay, of course, you can bake meringue. So on here, juicy. So you guys can a little bit study it here. It's very difficult to uh, explain everything. Go to study this, I will send this for you. So fruit sauce, chocolate sauce, okay? So make sure you guys need to see what the combination inside. So example, now you guys making for the sauce, for uh, making for the platter dessert for this, okay? This platter dessert, belly walina glass, okay? So for here, can you put the chocolate sauce inside here? Can you put the chocolate sauce inside here? I not recommend because now if you're serving this one, this platter dessert is very uh, refreshing item. It's a very berry and very refreshing. You can put some mint inside flavor, no problem. But if you now you put chocolate sauce, the flavor is going to be mashed together. So you guys need to check what the flavor you guys need to serving combination. Okay. So next creamy texture. Okay. Such a like ganache. Uh, curd. Okay. Curd like lemon curd. Okay. Lemon curd, yuzu curd, this kind of thing. Ice cream, sobe. Okay, spongy, all kind of the airy sponge, you can use it in this product. Okay, this is normally uh, five type texture now. I, okay, so for me, okay, meringue, meringue form or fat form. Okay, so you can use like espuma. Okay, so sometimes some of the chef, they always see they use like this kind of thing, espuma. Mm, for a second. Sometimes you guys go to like a Starbucks, okay? You can see they're using this kind of the bottle. They have a steel bottle inside. They put the they have put the gas inside. They put the gas inside. So this one normally is give you a foamy taste, or you can do some form like this. Okay, very simple to making this kind of form. You just use a milk after that, just boil the milk after boil the milk and whisk up the milk so they have a form on the top. So the milk you can using like uh you can using for infuse anything. Example, the milk are infused with like mean any flavor inside, you can get the taste from that. Okay, this is the form. Like when you guys go to drink a cappuccino, how they form up the how they form the form on the cappuccino because the milk you reach it. 80 Celsius. When 80 Celsius, all the protein will start corrugate. They will start corrugate. So when you whip up a little bit uh, air inside, this air, all the air have a shell. Like, all this shell have a fat content inside. So this fat content of the air bubble, it can content, it can last more longer. So that's why they create this foam bubble out. Okay? Always you can see the cappuccino because the foam bubble is from a fat. The foam bubble, okay, all the fat content there, create or become an air inside already. So this shell, they have a fat content. So it's very difficult to break the shell. Okay. This is how the culinary, they always get like a form inside. Okay. So we call it fat form. So if you want to doing, doing something like this, the fat, the fat form inside, make sure your product, your liquid product have enough content, the fat product inside. Some of the some of the chef, okay. Example, they like to put the like now they're going to more gastronomic style. Okay, they put inside the puree, they put some lecithin inside. Okay, you can go to a soya, uh, we call it sosa. Sosa, you guys can see in this uh sosa, sosa for culinary. So 
So there are a lot of a type of a gastronomic type. This is uh, the company from uh, Spain. Okay, they're very expert to playing the gastronomic type item. So you can see on here, this type, they have explained a little bit of the small theory for you. I'll, example, I find a lesser thing. So if you go this Sosa product, right, you can for sorry, uh, I, let me type of this. So we call it soya lecithin, soya lecithin. Okay, you can see on here, this, we call it lecithin on here. This soya, this uh, soy lecithin, right? Okay. Some of the chef they are put inside the puree product so he can increase the fat, pro, uh, fat protein inside the fat inside on the puree. So you can use this uh to read up. They can form. They can make a form on here. So he had a fruit flavor form. Okay, because fruit don't have contain any fat. So how you need to make the form come out? You need to add some little bit the like emulsifier, which which is called it soya soy lecithin inside. So this emulsified, okay, we can make a form for the fruit flavor. This also can make like this a foamy texture on here, okay. Jelly texture very simple, okay. Most they're using like a gelatin item, okay, on here. So mousse texture is more easy way, okay. All the cream, ah, uh, cream. Mousse, cream chantilly, all this, okay? So you guys can see a crispy texture on here, okay? The texture comma is more freaky texture on here, okay? A crunchy texture is like, example, like rice crispy, this kind of the crunchy texture on here, okay? So juicy texture on here, okay? The sauce, creamy texture. Sponge texture, okay? You need in a platter dessert and a foamy texture. This is what I told you guys. If you want to make a different of the form inside for a better dessert, look like more uh, nicer, okay? So you guys can infuse some example. You can use tomato puree. You can use another different, but you can put a soy lecithin inside, okay? Which I told you at here, this one. So you can, maybe you can check it here, this soy lecithin. Actually, he have explained a little bit for you on this. So he explained you how, how to using this kind of the thing. Maybe you guys can Google type this one. This is a very uh, famous in whole world, okay? In uh, this, we call it gastronomic item. Okay, jelly texture, easy for you, most texture. So temperature for, temperature for you guys serving, okay? Cold temperature, okay? Cold temperature normally is ice cream, sorbet. Okay, chill temperature, chiller temperature. Normally we serve it the mousse type, chiller type, okay, fruit type. Okay, so of course they have a room temperature like this, like crumble, baking meringue, hot temperature like lava, baguette, all this item. Okay, so if now you guys making for the banquet, banquet style. Okay, so how I need to serving for the platter dessert normally for the banquet style. Uh, in first, I, I talking about the banquet first. Normally banquet, normally we serve, right? All the chiller items will serve like, example, now I have 1,000 bags, 1,000 bags of a chill dessert that is something like a chocolate mousse. The chocolate mousse, normally I will start to plating on my plate, okay? I will plating, after that, put the chocolate mousse on that. After that, I will serve with the chocolate ice cream. This chocolate ice cream, I will, Scoop it after that, keep inside for the freezer separately. After that, this uh better dessert for the mousse, mousse, I will keep inside for the chiller. Maximum for us, keep inside for the chiller for three days. So when I need to serving this item, when I need to serving this uh product to my guests, normally on the last minute, I will ask the manager, the restaurant, the banquet manager, ask what time we need to serving. Before that, we will serve, uh, we will need 10 minutes to prepare. So I put all my plate, 
when the manager say, okay, the thing can be gold, so we will get, get the glove and get the frozen of the item because it's very frozen, put on the plate and just serve like that. Okay, just serve like that. So if now you're doing for a uh, cafe, restaurant, this kind of thing, okay, all your thing I will keep inside for the freezer. Exam example, like cafe or restaurant, right? If not, I want to do something chocolate mousse or anything, like that item, maybe I will prepare for 10 packs first. 10 packs of the chill dessert, a chiller temperature, I will put inside more my chiller and let him defrost. And my frozen item, I will keep separately. I will keep separately in the freezer. When the product, the guests need, I will take out from chiller and just splitting like that. Okay, that is a cafe star. The, the cafe star, five, di five dining restaurant. Uh, that always, if you guys go five dining, you guys will know everything they like to make fresh for you. Okay, that's why the cost also give you very, very expensive at there. Okay, normally if you order this kind of thing, they need some like half hour, at least half hour to prepare the thing. Okay, so all these items like cream patisserie, the sauce, everything you guys can first, you guys want to know like sauce, how long you guys can keep the sauce into the chiller. Sauce normally I keep inside for the chiller, I will keep around like five to six days. Okay, because sauce contain a lot of the sugar inside. They contain a lot of sugar item inside. So it's depend on you guys how uh how well how you guys understand your product you can keep. If all the most ice cream you guys can keep inside for the freezer for one month. So actually all the product I can prepare well. If the guests need, I just take out from a separately like example ice cream. Most I take out from a freezer. So my crumble, I take out for an air tight container, just like that, and just put it in plating and serve it. Okay. So this everything on here. So you guys can check. Okay. Cafe. Okay. Uh cafe normally we serve this kind of thing: cream boule, chocolate lava, sliced cake. Okay. Banqueting, you can see. Cafe, normally you guys can serve something. It's a little bit last minute, no problem, like chocolate lava. Remember at chocolate lava, I told you guys, you guys can put the mixture, the pedal into the aluminum foil cup after keeping inside for freezer one month. So when the customer need, just take the aluminum foil, put inside for the oven, bake it, and after that, then cool down a little bit, ammo it, and stuff like that. So actually, you don't need rushing for the product. All the product we can serve, uh, we can storage it well. Okay, just remember everything served in the freezer normally can serve to one month. Okay, the chala can go to one month. So everything in the chiller. So most of the dairy product is uh three to four day, three to four day. Okay, maximum. Okay, at least now you're making something like syrup, sugar syrup. Of course, everyone knows sugar syrup contains a lot of sugar, so we can serve more than one month because high content. When your product more contact a lot of uh, sugar, the shelf life can be more longer. Example like sauce, chocolate sauce, berry sauce, or the shelf life can go to like five to six days because they contact a lot of sugar inside. This is how we serve it in the uh, banquet. Normally everything, okay, we plate on here. After that, we put on a jack stand. Okay, they have, uh, we call it a uh, plate jack stand. Like that. So one of this jack stand, he can put around 100 plate. Or we serve, we just plate the product like that, like this. Then we will serve in, put in this jack stand. After putting this jack stand, we will wrap the jack stand and put inside for the chiller three to four days. Make sure when our when we're serving in the hotel, normally we will every time with the glove. Because if you're using your hand, two days your product will start to fungus. Then if you now you have 1,000 packs, how you check your 1,000 packs one by one? It's not possible to check your plate one by one. So normally, we need to take care about our hygiene. So semi-gastronomic, you can see a difference of a semi-gastronomic. It's more to at one star, more to at one star here. Okay? Okay? And five dining item, five dining restaurant at here. So... Actually, this one, if you guys can learn like, i give you guys an example. If you go to the cafe star, cafe star and a uh, banquet star, actually it look like more like our basic platter dessert. If you go to like a uh, semi-gastronomic, more a little bit high class, 
we go to like intermediate and you go to more advanced fine dining restaurant is more go to our advanced advanced platter dessert and that okay because the thing is more more uh the flavor is more uh more flavor inside not more is good uh, uh, is you need to match the flavor uh, guys so potion so if you go to the french star the western set first <clears throat> how you guys making for the potion first you want to understand this western set you need to serve how many costs inside i give you an example if now the western set only serve you three costs appetizer main cost and platter and uh, dessert so your potion can be a little bit bigger okay if now the cost if you go to the french cost it can go serve them more than 10 costs if this cost make sure the potion you need to reduce a little bit in the between in the between of the main cost actually <clears throat> they will serve you a sorbet to refreshing we call it wash the mouth wash your mouth <clears throat> normally uh better dessert they have uh, two po two way if you more than 10 costs are uh, more than six costs before main cost they will give you something like lemon sorbet or lime sorbet to washing your mouth and give you to a main cost on that okay so you need to see what is the main cost on that example now the main cost is a lamb okay it's a lamb 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 uh lamb flavor so my <clears throat> sorbet i can go to lemon thyme lemon with the thyme flavor sorbet so after that when you're washing your mouth you have the time flavor into your mouth in the next you're eating the main course you're eating the lamb okay lamb with what flavor is very uh mesh like time okay time flavor so like that at least they can doing something like combination so that's why you can see why the french cost okay they can go to a lot of the cost and all this cost the flavor is like step by step all the flavor is meshed with the next cost okay so on here you guys can a little bit study okay uh here also have a glass family which means just now i show you guys so you guys can see it here for the sorbet what is uh i think you guys can see it here <clears throat> this granite just now i explained for you guys for the glass family what is glass that's mean ice okay ice on here so cream glass ice cream gelato sorbet sherbet granite what is granite? If granite you go to Asian, okay, we call it ice shaving. Okay. If you go to Western star, you are uh, they sometimes they're not understand. But if you told them ice shaving, okay, like this, ice shaving, I think the Western star they know actually in there they call it granite. In here, we call it ice shaving on here. But this ice shaving is more bigger ice crystal and with the flavor. Of course, you can do any flavor with the puree inside, okay. So semi fatal parfait. On here, canal. Okay. You guys can go search this word canal. This is what I told you guys. <clears throat> the ship like this, we call it canal. Okay. So you can do any anything. You can do like, like a celery product. Okay. You make a mushroom paste, anything with this ship or the butter with this ship. We call it, you can, this technique, we call it canal, okay? So here I have a little bit explained for you how to using by step by step doing for the canal, okay? Okay, so just like that, have any question here? uh i will have a different brand i will here have a different brand i have brought and keep to use it ice kacang is granite yes ice kacang is granite okay next time if you have a western western friend to here you can tell it i show you our uh, local star ice uh, granite so they understand this is ice kacang that's mean ice shaving okay in another asian country we call it ice shaving so you can see this granite you can do any flavor you can do a soya bean flavor you can do a like a fruit flavor inside this we call it granite granite a little bit uh 
most of the ice cream gelato and sorbet, right? We need to use an ice cream machine to churn it, okay? Ice cream machine, why we call it churning process? Churning process because you need to maintain a machine on four Celsius, okay? Four Celsius to negative four Celsius. In this process, you keep incorporate the air into the mixture so they will start to form an ice and this ice on the surface, they will start to ice crystal. So that process, we call it churning process, okay? Because your churning process, you need a machine to maintain four to negative four Celsius only can making this ice crystal, okay? The ice crystal covered with the air. So when you're eating, it's airy. Granite is not same because they get a very big ice crystal. So in our South, A uh, South Asian way, okay, our Asian way, we call it ice sharing. More easy for us to understand, okay? That's Yes, yeah. It's possible to share the slides with the theory we're showing us. Yes, yes, yes. I, I will share you guys the slides on this. I will share you guys this slides. You don't worry. Later, I will share to my admin. Okay, this one. So you guys can go back to study a little bit on here. Okay, so I have any questions here. You guys can ask now. If no, I will class to until here today. Uh, don't worry, must be give you guys some time to study, okay? And we will explain for you for that, okay? So thank you very much, okay? Make sure you guys stay home, okay? Always go out with the glove, okay? Stay safety.